Right, so the scenario here is that we have this uh, very nice web page that we like, um, GSF page that we developed, and suddenly we realize that we need, we could reuse it uh, in other places. So this page wasn't built for usability, and the question is, for example, if I want to get this content to display inside JDeveloper, let's say, in another page, so let's say over here, how can I include one page inside the other? So the answer is that JDeveloper provides the um, concept of task flows and page fragments and regions. And the tricky part here is that this page that we used was built as a regular page, it's not page fragment. However, JDeveloper actually makes it quite easy to make it into a page fragment. So let's see how you do that. You go about and you go and you say I want a new task flow. And you can give it a name. Okay, and you make sure that it's a bounded task flow, or actually you start out with um, an unbounded task flow, like that, okay, and you click OK. So this creates a task flow for you, and this is a regular task flow, non-bounded, and you can now take this untitled 3 page and drag it into this task flow. Okay, so now you have a task flow with your page. Now in order to include this task flow inside another page you actually need this to be a bounded task flow. So to do that what you do is you right click here in an empty space and you choose to convert to bounded task flow. Okay. And now it's a bounded task flow. If you right click again now you can choose convert to task flow with page fragments. Okay, so this would change the JSF page into a JSFF page. Click OK. Okay, so now we have an uh, untitled 3 JSFF page. You can see that the page hasn't changed much, and we have a bounded task flow with page fragments. So once we have this bounded task flow, okay, which you can see also here under um, over here, you can actually go over to another page and just drag the reusable into this page as a region. Okay, save everything, and now you can run this page. So this page now basically contains the other page. Um, this page can't be run standalone anymore, so if you actually want just to display this page, what you probably want to do is go ahead and create a containing page, like a regular page, let's say blank page, okay. and into this page you can again drag and drop the reusable thing as a region, save it, and there you'll have your untitled 3 JSF page now which would basically still display the same thing you had there before, but now it's running as a region. So now you have this page, and your sub-page is actually already contained in here. It functions just like any regular page, so you can basically go over and um, do whatever you would have done in regular pages. that. Or you can also go and invoke the untitled 3 JSF page. So this is the untitled 3 JSF which basically looks like the previous page, right? It looks like this one, but this time this is actually a region. So still behaves the same, nothing special here. Get this? 